Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. Um, so yesterday I actually spent quite a bit of time farming. Um, I got my Dark Thor and Indra both to five stars max level. And what I'm going to do in this video is I can I also spent a lot of time farming Dark Dungeons. Is um, I have enough High Stone so I, and and like all the materials I need to make them both six stars. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I need to capture a lot of monsters to do the do the Victoria fusion. Um, I should actually put a lot of these these really really shitty monsters in in my storage, like random three star monsters. Oh god, this costs so damn much. Storage two costs freaking uh, cost uh, diamonds, which isn't worth or crystals or whatever the hell they're called. Yes, they're they're crystals. They're not diamonds. Um. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, yeah, I'm just going to six star them both in case I I run out of money somehow or I like forget to do something. Um, might as well do this. So, um, I I think I'll be able to get them both to six stars max level within, within uh, you know, two or three days. Um, the, the reason why I wanted to do this is because I needed monsters to, to, to use for farming. Um, so I can, so I can basically farm more monsters for my, uh, for my, my Victoria, like my Victoria fusions. I actually have quite a few, like I have some Cocos, some Beths, some Seedlers. I should probably collect the Seedlers and Beths first. I need exactly, uh, wait, I, I think I have some, I think I have some, some water Cocos or water, uh, Wait, I don't need the cocos. Wait, wait, let me let me just check the fusion again. I, I, I suddenly forgot. <laughs> I suddenly forgot what was. Uh... Oh shit! I just realized that. I just realized something. I wasted a hundred astro gems. You guys know why? I, I six start a monster, and I forgot to go do the quest, and then I I uh, I six start two monsters at the same time. So don't. Six star two monsters in the same time in the future. Holy shit! I just lost a hundred astrogens. I mean, I, I've wasted a hundred astrogens before, so it's 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 not it's not that bad. Um, that's kind of sad. You know, if you think about it, if you think about it, if you do a ten plus one and they all come out as shitty monsters, you've basically wasted six hundred astrogens. So you know, it's we we, we waste astrogens all the time. Um, yes, there's there's no no worse way to waste astro gems than, than 10 plus ones uh, but anyways i i wanted to check i wanted to check what was for fusion um okay so actually what i need is the wood sirens and the wood cocos so the cocos are going to be fed i need the sealers and beths not any anything else so i need uh i think i have some i'm not sure if i have a wood cocoa or woods or any wood sirens I might, I might possibly have some, or I mean, uh, not wood cocos, uh, blue water cocos. I have no wood sirens, so I, I need, I'll need, unless I summon some wood sirens, I'll need exactly um, twelve seedlers. Is that right? Yes, I'll need exactly twelve seedlers, and um, actually I actually have one, I have one more here, and then uh, so. 12 sealers, that means I need 9 more sealers. And then for the beds to, to make the water cocos, I need, uh, since I already have 3 over here, um, 3, and then, wait a minute. Yes, 3, um, 4, 5, 6. So I, I'll need 6 more, 6 more beds. 6 more beds and, uh, and, and, uh, what was it? Ten, nine more sealers. One. God damn it! Why is my math so bad? All right, three sealers. Yes, I need. I need a. Uh, yeah, nine. Nine more sealers and six more bets, which isn't too hard. Um, by the time I get them both six stars, I should definitely have that amount. And um, but I think the hardest part is I need sirens too. I need uh three sirens for, for each siren that I I make. So. And I need 12, so I'll need exactly 36 sirens. And for these cocos, I'll need uh, 
yeah, I'll need 36 of them as well. So that's that's actually quite a lot. I'm not too sure I'll have um, all those by the time I make them both six stars or six stars max level. Um, but the other thing I wanted to do is also to gem them up. I don't think I can I can uh, gem them up with plus 15 gems, but I can gem him with uh, with some with some decent gems. I was thinking of doing a Ruin set, because crit damage is definitely the best for him to abuse his uh, Courageous Strike. Because attack doesn't... I'm not sure if attack scales proportionally with this, but it says it grants additional attack. So basically, um, this is like added on top of your, your base attack, you know. So, uh, crit damage is definitely definitely the, the, the stat you want, I think. Um... I have, I have some crit rate ruin gems I can rip off someone. Oh wait, I, I know how to make him perfect. I just need to rip off gems on, on this Katito. And then after I switch this guy to a Valor set, everything will be perfect. This is recovery, resist crit damage HP. This one's HP crit damage recovery attack. So this one's the better gem. Um... So I guess I don't have to do anything because after like once once the weekend comes around, I'm gonna regen my Dark Atito and I'm going to rip off his gems. So, so I'm gonna switch him over to a Valor set because this crit rate's way too low. Um, and then I I'll I'll be able to put uh, one of these wood Katito gems on him. But the crit rate's also very low though. That's that's also a problem. Actually, wait, no. I need a I need a defensive gem on one of the one of his slots. Wait, I might have a defense or HP ruin with like some crit rate. That would work. This one is 6.5. It's the only one I got. What about triangle slots? No crit damage for triangle. Alright, I, I, I won't touch his gems for now. Um, I'll do that a little bit later. The other thing is I wanted to gleam him. Like, I, I think I should I should definitely gleam, gleam that Dark Indra. I mean, he is... He he definitely does deserve it. He is a light dark nat 5. So I'm going to use 3 gleams to raise him, raise him to evil 2. Alright, now I just need to pull three more random Indras. And I'll be able to get him to Evo 3. How much is his stat difference from Evo 2 to Evo 3? I think it's quite huge. For Nat 5s, it's actually quite a lot. He has 2,900 base attack at Evo 2. Evo 3, he has, uh, he has 3,600, which is like crazy, crazy high. Man, the Nat 5s all have like insane stats if you can get them to to uh to max all right he's gonna be a beast in clan battles i think it's a pretty good idea for me to raise him as well um because i i don't really i don't really uh have a lot of monsters for clan battle and i can use him against every single element boss like he's dark which makes him more effective against light but the the fact that he has Courageous Strike makes him just really, really good. Plus, he's dark, so he has 15%, 50 percent more crit damage, and he um, and uh, and dark is like element neutral. Yes, dark is element neutral against all the other elements, so he has no weak element, no element that he's weak against. Um, yes, that is exactly why. He's just he's just the the ultimate uh, clan battle monster, I think. Uh, the other thing I wanted to wanted to uh, touch upon is the the current event. Someone actually asked me in the comment. I, I did promise him that I'll talk a little bit about the current fusion event. So um, the four four thirty three is claiming us or claiming that there there is going to be a second part to this uh, Pinello event. If you look carefully on the astro guide over here for capture, there's going to be a dark Pinello with. Uh, Hunter on both skills, but their their stats are like crazy, crazy low. I think they made it this way just like on purpose, just to just to fuck with us. Um, 
I'm not sure if the stat for the wood one is low as well. I think I think they made it low on purpose. Just so you can't use those monsters for uh to to like really use them. Wait, where the fuck is he? Oh, is the wood one an evil three? Oh yes, the wood one's an evil three. Okay, this guy's actually usable. Cause his his although his stats are pretty weak, um, but if you if you take a look at most evil threes, their stats are not all that high. Like they're they're usually like this. Um, but he does have courageous strike on both his skills, and he has a crit crit rate for clan battles. So he's definitely a usable monster. Like you can actually use him for clan battles if you if you want if you want to do that. Um, the other thing is he's like. He's like, he's like a mini Dark Indra, basically. Um, the the other thing is, uh, you you can use him to to make this banshee and this this uh this thingy what whatever the hell it's called, this crab thing. It's actually right right out right now for Guardian Dungeons, so you can actually farm this. Like if you don't have a wood banshee and you're you just started the game, you should definitely grab her. Um, she's she's a really good monster. Like she. You can use him for for Golems B7 if you're just just starting out. Um, I don't think I really need her. I I might fuse another one just just for the hell of it, you know, just just so I can I have another Banshee um, in in the future. Like in case in the future I wanna I wanna raise a Banshee. Um, but there's also a chance that this Banshee, like the Wood Banshee, um, might be used for like part two of the event. So if you if you capture a lot of pinellos and you you're doing the guardian dungeon, you should probably fuse it. Like just, I mean, this guy's not even you really all that useful. Um, you technically could use the wood pinello, but you could also make another one. It's not it's not too hard because these these things pop up like all the time, and you can use the the fake ones to make a real one, um, and then you combine them with a monkey. And the monkey's on rebirth right now, so if you do some rebirths, you'll you'll definitely get some wood monkeys. Um, and then you can you can get this guy, and then make the banshee. Um, as for the light miho, I think I think people should grab her as well. She's a pretty good monster. Like she she has some uses in um, in PvP for for CC. Although there are a lot of like better CC monsters, she if you don't have anything else, she's definitely definitely a pretty good monster. Um, but you will need a wood miho for this. I don't have a light miho, so I if I if I can catch a wood miho, I'll definitely uh, which I probably could, uh, probably will. I'll I'll get her as well. She has uh, taunt and and attack down, so uh, she's she's quite tanky. Like if you look at her stats, her def both her defense and HP are really high. Like most uh, most monsters, like usually if they're defender type, their HP isn't that high, or if they're HP type, their their um, defense isn't that high. But I think. This is a this is a good balance. Like usually for like defenders, they have like a high HP pool, like a higher defense pool. I mean, and uh, a lower HP pool. And then for um, tank monsters, like they they usually have a, a lower lower defense and like high HP. Like if you look at this for example, like this is a this is kind of imbalanced. But I think her stat is really balanced. It's, it's like it's like the sweet spot for like both these stats. So she's definitely going to be a pretty um, pretty tanky monster, and you can use him to to like CC stuff. Like he, she can taunt and then force the enemy to attack her. Although taunt is not really the the strongest CC. I think um, you kind of just want her for for collection purposes. Like I just want her for collection purposes. Um, because I, I never I never got a chance to get her, so I'll I'll definitely do that as well. There's also another chance a, a chance that she's gonna be um, part of the second part of the fusion. Like there there you know how there's the light Venus fusion, like there's two parts to it, like you know the the chocolates and the Andes, and then the chocolates came first before the Andes. Um, there's a chance that she might be used in like some some sort of a. Uh, like fusion like thingy that could come out after this event ends. So I mean if you have like a wood miho and you have some uh some of these pinolos like sitting around you should probably just just fuse them for the hell of it. Um just in case, you know.
just in case anything bad happens. All right, let's just uh, let's just pop three eggs. Okay, I got a I got a water one. I don't know where the wood mihos like which map they're from. I I, I kind of forgot. I'm taking a break from Rebirth this month because I, I don't really need anything anymore. Oh nice, I got another Wild Fang. Mm. Yeah, I don't need I don't need any more of the monkeys um for Rebirth this month. So I think that's pretty much it. Um I'm gonna spend my remaining gold just like upgrading some gems. And I mean I already got both monkeys. Um, the, the other thing I actually wanted to talk about is a potential for a new Dragon's B10 team. Because my, my current team is like a YOLO team. Basically, I go in, I, I, uh, I spam my shit, and, uh, and that's it. Like, I, I go in, I, I, uh, I try to kill the boss before it kills me, and that's pretty much it. But I was thinking of using like an actual like team to sustain and tank through um, Dragon Speed 10, cause cause someone in, like someone on my Discord channel has proved that it's actually a possible like a viable strategy. Like you can actually do that. You don't have to you don't have to YOLO through Dragon Speed 10. Um, but that's gonna come a little bit later since I'm already in the in the middle of um, doing my my Dragon Speed like making my Dragon Speed 10 team. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep working on it and then eventually. Um, you know, once I once I have all the other monsters ready, I'll start working on that as well. Um, I just kind of need it just for now, so I can start actually start farming like like a little bit more reliably every single week, like Dragon Speed 10, um, as much as I can. So that is pretty much it. That is the end of this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and um, hopefully I didn't I didn't really miss anything. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.